Picture this for a moment. Florida authorities just approved the boldest plan ever seen to combat the Burmese python invasion that's destroying the Everglades. They've unleashed something that could change everything forever. An army of specially trained American badgers to hunt these giant serpents. While you're watching this video, hundreds of these furious predators would already be released into Florida's swamps, ready to face pythons over 16 feet long. But would this military strategy of nature actually work? Or did we just create an even bigger problem? Stay with me because you're about to discover the truth behind the most controversial project in American conservation history. Before we talk about badgers, we need to understand the scale of the catastrophe happening in Florida. Burmese pythons have established a breeding population in South Florida and caused severe declines of 80 to 100 percent in several mammal species that were once common, like raccoons, opossums and rabbits. These snakes are no joke. We're talking about predators that can exceed 16 feet in length and reach over 110 pounds of pure muscle. They're perfectly hidden in the Everglades with no natural predators, slowly taking over the ecosystem and causing significant damage to mammal and bird populations. But pythons are just the tip of the iceberg. Invasive and non-native species cause serious damage when introduced to Florida's natural lands, being the second biggest threat after direct habitat destruction from development. Florida spends tens of millions of dollars every year trying to eliminate non-native species, but the situation only gets worse. Folks, if you're enjoying this content about wildlife and conservation strategies, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. We have much more content like this coming, and you won't want to miss it. This is where the revolutionary proposal comes in, American Badgers. These predators already inhabit most of the United States, so theoretically, it would be totally possible to transport a population to Florida. And here's what makes them perfect candidates for this mission. First, American Badgers are primarily nocturnal, which perfectly matches python habits. This means they'd be active exactly when the snakes are also hunting, dramatically increasing the chances of predatory encounters. Second, these badgers are already snake predators. They help control rattlesnake populations and other venomous species. Their bodies are true war machines. Thick, tough, loose skin that makes bites difficult. Enormous claws that serve for much more than digging and razor-sharp teeth. With an average weight between 13 and 20 pounds, they have the ideal size to search the ground in burrows where snakes might be hiding. The question is, would this be enough against the Burmese giants? Here we start to see the first problems with this strategy. Although American badgers share some characteristics with their honey badger cousins, they're nowhere near as versatile or aggressive. They're notably slower and less adaptable which would be a critical disadvantage against large constrictors. A 16-foot Burmese python has a brutal advantage. It can use enclosed environments for ambushes. While an American badger could easily hunt young and smaller pythons, the large breeding females could turn the tables and transform the hunter into prey. But the problem doesn't stop there. American badgers prefer very specific habitats, open grasslands, farms, parks and treeless areas with soft soil and abundant small rodents. Although they can technically survive in swamps like the Everglades, it's not their natural environment. And here's the crucial point. Although they may hunt snakes occasionally, the main diet of American badgers consists of small mammals they find by digging. In Florida, this would mean they'd compete directly with native species already threatened by the python disaster we'd potentially be saving the ecosystem from one invader to hand it over to another. It's worth remembering that American badger diets go far beyond small mammals. They also feed on birds, fish, insects including bees and honey, and even vegetables like corn. This means their introduction would affect multiple levels of Florida's food chain, some invasive and others native. Their massive excavations would create another serious problem. American badgers are compulsive diggers, 
creating extensive tunnel systems that could destabilize Everglades soil and affect the region's delicate hydrological system. As for natural predators, occasionally black bears, mountain lions, and gray wolves can prey on adult badgers. But in Florida, these populations are extremely low or non-existent. This means there would be practically no natural control beyond human intervention if badgers also became a pest. There would be some strategies to minimize risks. One possibility would be introducing only sterilized animals or those of a single sex, limiting their reproductive capacity. Another option would be trying to train badgers to hunt specifically pythons and other invasive species. But here we run into another problem. Badgers are natural diggers. Even with the best containment systems, they'd probably find a way to escape by digging tunnels. And once free, it would be an enormous challenge to recapture them due to their nocturnal and subterranean habits. The reality is that introducing a new species to control another invasive one rarely works as planned. History is full of examples where the solution became an even bigger problem than the original. So after analyzing all these factors, what would be the final verdict on Florida's Badger Army? Although the idea is fascinating and theoretically possible, the risks would probably outweigh the benefits. But here's the truth you've been waiting for. This project never actually happened. This entire video was a theoretical analysis of what could happen if Florida authorities really decided to release American Badgers to combat invasive pythons. The reality is that Florida continues to depend on human hunters, removal programs, and scientific research to control python populations. And maybe that's better, considering all the risks we just discussed. What do you think? Would it be a brilliant idea or an ecological disaster waiting to happen? Leave your opinions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this type of detailed analysis about conservation and ecology, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. We have an entire playlist about invasive species and control strategies that you'll love. And don't miss the next video that will appear on screen in a few seconds, where we explore other controversial solutions to conservation problems. See you next time.